Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caleb and in today's video, I'll be giving you predictions for football matches taking place today, Tuesday, the 3rd of December, 2024. I have two sets of predictions for you today with our usual two odds and above. And hopefully at the end of the day, we all will be happy and smiling because we must have maximized our winnings from these predictions. So guys, yesterday I couldn't give you predictions because as you all know, on Mondays, I rarely give predictions here on YouTube. And if I have anything to offer, then I do so in our Telegram group. So for those of you who are in our Telegram group, you must have seen my predictions for yesterday. But then guys, today is another day and I have gone back to the drawing board and I have come up with two sets of predictions and guys hopefully at the end of the day we all will be happy and smiling because these predictions must have been in but before i go into these predictions for today i want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel in one way or the other be it through your subscription or through the likes on our videos or even the comments that you put under our videos guys i am so grateful even to those of you who share our videos to other people to discover us, guys, I am super, super grateful and thank you to all of you who have supported us. And guys, please continue to support us as I continue to do my best to make sure we can reach our goals of why we are here. So guys, words cannot really explain how I feel about you guys. Words cannot really explain, but I am super, super grateful and thank you to all of you. So for today, like I said, I have two sets of predictions which I have really studied. And guys, hopefully we all will be happy at the end of the day. For our first set of today, we have Mallorca versus Barcelona. Guys, this game is going to be a very tricky one. And some of you might be scared. To play this game given that barcelona who have been in scintillating form since the start of the season have experienced a slight up and down in their form and guys in the space of three weeks they have already lost two games but then guys barcelona against mallorca this game taking place today guys i really see barcelona actually going into this game like wounded lions given the fact that they are just one point above real madrid and have played one game more guys they are not really in a good position going into this game they really need the win in any way possible in order to at least extend the gap before real madrid plays tomorrow so we are going for an away win for barcelona i believe these players will definitely must have talked about their position in the league right now and guys, they'll be going into this game at least to put in their 120% effort to get the win. Mallorca, on the other hand, are a very good side at home. But then I don't see them having the quality to stop Barcelona in this particular game. Yes, Barcelona lost against Las Palmas at home. But then, guys, that should be a wake-up call for them. Mallorca have not been doing pretty well throughout the season. But then, guys, at home, they are a very formidable side and they defend compact and in a very good block. But then, Barcelona, I see them having that quality to at least put one past Mallorca and get all three points at the end of the day. So I expect them to dominate this game from start to finish and definitely put all three points in the back at the end of 90 minutes. So we are going for an away win for FC Barcelona. They have the better quality players and I believe given recent results, they will definitely go into this game to get all three points. I don't see Mallorca actually stopping them from doing so in this particular game. Our next game of our set one is Jan Regensberg versus VFB Stuttgart. Guys, Stuttgart have not been in a very good form throughout the season. They have been blowing hot and cold throughout this season. 
but then guys going away to January Jansberg, who are also not actually performing at all, given that they are the last team, they are at the bottom of the table in the Bundesliga 2 and have scored just five goals throughout the season. Guys, considering about 35 goals throughout the season so far, I really see them hitting that 60 70 goals mark conceding. But then, guys, VFB Stuttgart. Despite not being informed, I really see them going into this one with a lot of confidence because they know their opponents and also not in a very good form are in a very, very poor state. Stuttgart, despite not being informed, have really been scoring goals. Their problem is they haven't really been shading the back very well. So they have been considering as well. And that is why they are not in a good position at the moment. Given the fact that they score lots of goals despite not being in form, going away to Jan Regensburg, who actually really doesn't score goals, but then concedes lots of goals, I really see Stuttgart getting the win in this one. Stuttgart will definitely go into this game putting in their 120% effort in order to get the win and progress to the next round of the Bundesliga Cup. And guys, Jan Regensburg, on the other hand, yes, they want to try as much as possible, to at least offset Stuttgart. They want to try as much as possible to throw in spanners in the works of Stuttgart during 90 minutes. But then I don't think they have the quality to be able to stop Stuttgart in this game. I see them playing a defensive low block. But then, guys, I see Stuttgart actually penetrating that low block and getting the win in this particular game so we are going for an away win for vfb stuttgart the third game is bologna versus munza bologna versus munza guys this game is from italy and it is the italian cup guys this game is in its 16 round open to and if any team that wins from this particular game goes to the round of eight that is the quarter finals and guys bologna being at home i really see them to prevail in this one munza on the other hand have not really been doing well in the league and guys going away to bologna knowing that one or two players might be rested guys i really don't see munza putting up the performance to at least get anything out of the game bologna on the other hand despite not being in top form yet despite not being in top form yet in this league i really see them licking their lips to go into the pitch and actually get the win in this game and definitely guys progress to the next round bologna i see them dominating this game from start to finish and actually get the win at the end of the day but then, guys, we are not going to go for a straight win for Bologna, but we are going to go for a more safer bet in this game, which is a home win or draw for Bologna. I believe they have the better, the better quality players to actually go into this game and at least grab the win. So we are going for a home win or draw for Bologna. These three games will make up our set one of today. And it gives us a 2.3 plus odds. And guys, hopefully at the end of the day, we all will be happy and smiling because we must have maximized our winnings from this prediction. For our set two, we have Pracho Isden versus Club Bruges. This game is from Belgium and it is the Belgian Cup. Guys, in this game, I really see a cruise control game for Club Bruges. Yes, they are away from home, but then going to Pacho is then. I really see Club Bruges dominating this game from start to finish and actually getting the win in this game in order to progress to the next round. Club Bruges are a formidable side in the Belgian Pro League. And guys, I really don't see them misbehaving in this game. I see them licking their lips going into this one, knowing fully well that they will get all three points. Just hopefully, they won't over-underestimate their opponents. But then, guys, 
I expect Club Bruges to get a comfortable win at the end of the day in this game. Pacho is then, on the other hand, being at home and with their home support, I know they want to have the belief that they can do something in this game. But then it is easier said than done. I see them trying as much as possible to put a defensive low block in this game so as to at least do the counter and at least nick the win at the end of the day. But then, guys, I really don't see them getting that quality, having those quality players to actually defend at their best and get the win at the end of the day. I believe they'll concede goals, not just one. They'll concede lots of goals in this game. And Club Bush will emerge victorious at the end of the day. So we are going for an away win for Club Bruges in this game. The next game of our set two is Cheno Morvena versus Lokomotiv Sofia. Guys, this game is from Bulgaria. And we are going for a home win for Cheno Morvena. They are in scintillating form, guys. And being at home, they are a very, very formidable sight. Locomotive Sofia, on the other hand, are not really in good form this season. They have been struggling, guys, and getting just three wins so far this season. I really don't see them going away to Chinomovona to get anything out of the game. They concede lots of goals and really don't score lots of goals. Chinomovona, on the other hand, really score lots of goals and don't concede too many goals at all. And being at home, guys, I really see and I really see a formidable performance from Chinomo Vena. And guys, I expect them to dominate this win from start to dominate this game from start to finish and get a comfortable win at the end of the day. I, I expect them to actually go into this game putting in their 120% effort in order to get the win. A win for them would definitely make them climb up the table which should be their aim at the end of 90 minutes of this game so we are going for a home win for chinomo vena the third and last game to conclude our set two of today is orato versus alex ket alex ket this game is from armenia and guys orato at home are a very formidable sight Playing against Aleshket, who are not really doing very well in the league at the moment. Guys, I expect Orato to dominate this game from start to finish and get a comfortable win at the end of the day. Aleshket, on the other hand, are not in a very good place in this league and are not really performing in this league at the moment. They are second to bottom in the table and guys, they are not even playing good football. Guys, they concede lots of goals, and I believe this game will not be any different. Orato, on the other hand, really score lots of goals. And guys, welcoming an alleged side who are not really performing and have a very leaky defense, I expect a comfortable win for Orato at the end of the day. And that is why we are going for a home win for Orato in this game. So these three games will make up our set two for today and it gives us a 2.3 plus odds and hopefully at the end of the day we all will be happy because this prediction must have been in. So guys that is the video there and there. Those are my predictions for today and hopefully guys by the end of the day we all will be happy and smiling because we must have maximized our winnings from these predictions please guys don't forget to support the channel as always by leaving a thumbs up on the video and also hitting that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified each time a new video is uploaded and guys please share the video to as many people as possible so that they also can benefit from our predictions Stay tuned to the channel because I'll be coming up with more and more prediction videos. See you on the next one, guys. Thank you.